while there is every possibility to want to put your best foot forward with a man or woman of your dreams, there will be a time when they will have to see you for who you are, and when that happens, a person that is meant to be your spouse will love the real you, irrespective of their imperfections or the faults. People sometimes fail to realize that marriage is a lifelong journey. As such, it is best spent with someone who appreciates and loves you for you and not based on some external factors, although those can eventually play a role in the whole experience. If you find someone interested in you and with whom you can be comfortable anytime and anywhere, and you also love and respect each other, that is your future partner. Everyone deserves to be with people who accept them wholeheartedly, a person who is not attempting to change or fit them into their own idea. That can lead to a life of frustration, especially when a person finds it difficult to keep up with the pressing demands of the spouse-to-be. There will be some changes that you have to make along the way and some compromises that you have to reach in any relationship. However, when it comes to who you really are as an individual, you should not have to change that for the world, except for some shortcoming in your character. You've been created uniquely and specially by God, and it takes a kind heart to recognize and love your uniqueness and individuality and be willing to walk with you on the journey of life. You will meet people who think that you need to be like them or would like you to change something about yourself, usually just to suit themselves, but rarely would find people who will accept you in all totally together with all of your faults and weaknesses. When you come across these kinds of people, walk away. They understand you. Accepting a person is one thing, understanding them is another thing entirely. Family members are usually accepting of each other, irrespective of their differences, but some do not have the time or the patience to understand what makes them an individual the way they are. Understanding a person is not something that happens automatically, although there might be an element of innate connection, as is usually the case with soulmates, there must still be some kind of attention or a commitment given to an individual in order to understand them. It's very important that couples understand each other, otherwise they will have serious issues in the marriage. However, understanding does not just come the moment you get married, and that is where many people get it wrong. They follow the butterflies, forgetting everything else and believe that everything would work out automatically, but they are only setting themselves up for a huge shock. It's for this reason that it's important that you marry someone that's your friend. A friend is someone that knows you, knows your fears, your weaknesses, and does not take advantage of it. When you are down, they respect and understand your mood, and try to see how to cheer you up with words of encouragement. They know how to make you feel good and push you towards achieving your goals. Everybody needs at least someone who understands them. This should be the one person that you can count on even if the rest of the world does not understand you. Having such a person in your life is an indication that you have found your life partner, your spouse. You're moving in the same direction. When you have someone in your life that wants the same things from life as you, enjoys doing the same thing, have similar interests and values the same thing that is your spouse staring you in the face. Of course, there are other factors that should be considered, but this is one of the most important factors you should look out for. It's necessary that you know the direction a person is going towards before you decide to join the train. If you're not going your way, then that relationship will not work out. And if you managed it through dating and courtship, Yes, you can be sure that marriage is going to end up a disaster. These are things to look out for, to know if that person is your spouse or not. Do you share the same faith and belief in God? This is the most important thing that you should know about that person. If you belong to the same fold, that is a great start, but it does not always mean that being a fellow Christian qualifies just anybody to be your spouse. Anyone that is not a believer 
does not fit into that category. Another thing is your passion and interests in life. You might not have exactly the same passion as you do, but there should be some kind of similarity, or at least, at the very least, they should not contradict each other. When you're moving in the same direction, it shows agreement, and that's very important for the success of a marriage. Having someone you can agree with on important matters and share the same interest and passion for life is a great plus to any marriage. That person is your spouse. They complement and complete you. Sometimes, we just come across certain people and we feel like a void in our lives has been filled. Or it could be that a person leaves us for a while and things are not the same anymore. They leave a void that might take years to be filled, if at all. This means that those people have a special place in our lives. In essence, that person might be your spouse. They are the missing piece to the puzzle, and when you find them, you should not let them go. Just in the same way that Adam reacted when God presented Eve to him, declaring that he had found the bone of his bone in the flesh of his flesh, you should experience something similar when you come across that one that is meant for you. It's like something finally clicked, and there will be a knowing in your heart that you have found the one. They complement your efforts easily, add spice to your life, and bring balance to the whole setting that is your life. God is directing you to that person. More than any sign that you could ever get is the direction that God gives. When God directs you to a particular person, then you should have no doubt whatsoever. You may or may not know everything about that person, but you can be rest assured that God has already done his findings and knows what is best for you. God speaks through different means, and as his children, it is up to us to pick out his voice among the distorting noise of the world and our own fleshy desires. That person might not be someone you're familiar with, or they might be a close friend whom you've paid no attention to or given any notice to. It might be your colleague at the place of work, or a fellow church member. Whoever the person is, as long as it's God directing you, you should go ahead, knowing that this person is your spouse and the one that is meant for you. God instituted marriage, and he brought the first man and woman together. God will not physically bring a woman or a man to you like he did in the case of Adam and Eve, but he can as well guide you through different means and signs some of which have been listed above. You may develop an unusual desire to be with that person. If you allow some time and subject those feelings to prayer and it does not go, that's God directing you to that person. God can lead you through divine coincidences whereby you just keep coming across this person everywhere you go or you happen to see them in your dreams continuously. When the need arises, God can also lead you through the audible voice. That should leave no doubt whatsoever in your heart concerning that person. You can also feel at peace with that person. When you're with them, your worries just seem to disappear or fade into the background. You find a safe haven in them, and they are the one you run to escape all the troubles of the normal day. That is another sign that God is directing you to that person. Do not make the mistake of going after things that do not matter. Your faith, direction, state of mind with that person, and a whole lot of other things matter. But very importantly, what God has to say concerning that person matters the most. If God directs you to a particular person, then that is your spouse.